So this is turpentine mango, very productive tree. This particular tree is, is probably 70 years old. Turpentine mango is grown around the world in the tropics and is actually used in many different ways. Uh, it's, um, it, when it's hard green, which is earlier than this stage, uh, it's prized for being very sour uh, by people from India and surrounding countries. Um, but it's mostly eaten ripe. And because it is a very fibrous mango, uh, it's fine to, to just pick them up from the ground. Uh, this you know, has ripened. They, you might be able to tell that only one or, or a few mangoes in a cluster will ripen at the same time. So it's easiest just to wait for it to, to drop to the ground. Uh, there's no bruising at all on this. And actually the most common way to eat um, this mango is actually to drink it. I'll show you that later. But also I want to note that this um, is a very popular mango to use as rootstock. Uh, it's polyembryonic, so all the, almost all of the seedlings are genetically the same. And that's a very good quality and it's also a very um, vigorous rootstock. So in Jamaica, they have three different words for this. They call it the common mango, the seed mango, and then the term I like, little stringies. Um, yeah, they do have fiber in them, but when you drink this, the uh, mango, in, instead of trying to cut it up, the fiber really isn't a problem. In Cuba, it's known as chupeta, and um, that's all the words that I know uh, from around the world, but... Here in America, we call it turpentine. Uh, when I was growing up, I didn't grow up with mangoes around, but I was told that these were not edible and nothing could be further from the truth. They're very tasty. It's just that the marketing guy was on vacation when they had to come up with a name for this fruit. Turpentine, the only thing that it could refer to is the smell of the sap when you pick the fruit. That's, here's one. So here, smell that. <laughs> does smell like turpentine, but a lot of mangoes do smell like a turpentine, very resinous uh, smell to them um, when you're smelling sap. And so anyway, don't be scared off by the name. The fruit itself is one of the best tasting mangoes there are there is and so try it it's um it's delicious whether it's been in the shade of the tree or sitting out in the sun both are very refreshing a friend of mine calls them mango juice boxes turpentine is best eaten as a juice mango and in order to eat it as a juice mango you intentionally bruise the fruit and not, don't you stay away from this this part the stem part of the fruit because you don't want to have the juice leaking out of there but you just work your way around the whole fruit like that so there's nothing but you know it it, it feels like there's just liquid in there and that's pretty much true. And then when you get to that stage, almost everything is, is um, I'll wipe that off on my thing. Then what you do is just bite off this end and squeeze out the juice. A friend of mine calls these little mango juice boxes. And sometimes when we're out working in the yard, or I should say farm, because it's way beyond a yard, um, we'll have to we'll sit down and have you know half dozen at a time so so this is the inside of the fruit and you just drink the juice try and squeeze it out as you go but you actually get a lot of juice out of this they're delicious when they're whether they've been in the sun or in the shade